Greetings, fellow captains. Today we'll talk about Strait, one of the more unusual World of Warships maps. It has one peculiarity that makes the gameplay quite unique from a tactical point of view. It's the unconventional layout of the spawn points. Let's see what's what. Open water areas stretch at the top and bottom of the map. Two large peninsulas occupy the right and left edges with an archipelago between them. These landmasses divide not only the map, but also each team into two halves. For this reason, initial engagements most often take place in the top and bottom parts of the map. Two labyrinths are located to the left and right of the peninsulas. These two regions are a true paradise for any destroyer captain. Some brave commanders of maneuverable cruisers also like to visit them. Battleships, on the other hand, should stay away. They can easily catch a couple of torpedoes without even entering a labyrinth. A large area of open water lies in the center of the map. This area is the focus of the most heated battles. Your survival chances here without allied support are very slim. In the center, you risk coming under focused fire from both halves of the enemy team. Of course, destroyers with good concealment can provide spotting from the center. However, at the beginning of a battle, you'll be of little help to your team here, and you risk being sunk very quickly. So how do you go about owning the map? Very simple. Cooperate with your teammates. The objective of each part of your team, let's call them the top group and the bottom group, is to capture their half of the map as quickly as possible. To force the enemy towards the center or the labyrinths, or even destroy them if possible. Then, once you control one half of the map, it's time to go and help your allies in the other half. Destroyers should stay away from the map center in the early stage of a battle. It's just not worth the risk. Instead, you can help your allies by spotting enemies, setting a smoke screen, and wishing everyone good luck and fair seas. After your team starts to gain control of their part of the map, destroyers can try to break through the labyrinths to go after enemy aircraft carriers and sluggish battleships, especially those who are foolish enough to sail near the islands. Cruisers will work best paired with a battleship, especially if the opposing team has a lot of aviation. Fire at destroyers, shoot down planes, and enjoy life. If there are no aircraft carriers, assume position in front of a battleship and protect it against destroyers, but keep your distance from the enemy and avoid coming under concentrated fire. If you're a battleship captain, your task is simple. Be accurate and help your allies to destroy the opposing team as quickly as possible. A good way to proceed is to first sail straight forward, hopefully with a cruiser escort. Then turn a little towards the map edge, approximately at the moment when the enemy should be coming into your maximum firing range. This way you avoid being shot from the opposite side of the map. Thus, if your destroyers can spot some enemies, you'll be ready to fire a full broadside while your adversaries are just beginning to turn. After that, act according to the battle situation. Either fall back a little, or if you see the enemy is wavering, push forward. When the opposing ships in your sector are forced back or destroyed, move to the map's center and wipe out the remaining ships. Aircraft carriers, no rocket science here. It's essential to keep moving. Sail together with your team and don't forget to provide reconnaissance. It's also reasonable to enter the labyrinth at the beginning of a battle. The islands will cover you and you'll be able to assist both the top and bottom parts of your team. That was an overview of standard battle tactics in the domination mode on this map. In the standard battle mode with two bases, these tactics can be changed if you need to protect your base. It's noteworthy that this map requires a very close cooperation with your team. 
But then, so does any other map. So gather your friends and work together for victory.